one of the most beautiful custom rooms right now which is rising os the version 3.1 is here and this bring this update brings you a lot of new changes as expectedly this is only one of the few custom rooms with every update they are bringing you something new and with this new update we have a lot of new things now right now it's based on the latest may security patch the version is 3.1 also a lot of bugs are fixed so i'm just hoping if you are using this custom room i don't think so most of you are getting any major bugs as compared to the previous updates one of the most interesting features which i found in this version is a swipe three finger gesture so for example like in all the custom rooms as far as i know i've tried so far even if you swipe three finger you have screenshot option available directly but in this case you can customize that and that's just quite amazing like in this case you have the option for toggling flashlight you have the option for a screenshot you have the option for a lot a lot more things so that's quite impressive you can change that you can choose the volume panel option turn screen on off clear all notifications and almost tons of new things as you can see i have the also option i also have the option for switch the ringer modes like vibration do not disturb mode or the normal things that's just so amazing you have these option available you have this option available in the miscellaneous options in rising OS, so check it out secondly the depth wallpaper so last last time when i made a video on this version depth wallpaper was actually working because i was not able to use it properly so i've told you that i guess it's not working but right now i found it's working perfectly fine you just have to choose uh, the subject for example drop down or you can say swipe down swipe up at the bottom you have the instructions available how you can set up the depth wallpaper you just have to set the wallpaper with a background image then you have to choose the foreground image and that is easy you just have to choose that and you are good to go another thing is as expectedly lock screen also have some lock screen widgets and lock screen clock styles so let me just disable the depth wallpaper once to show you the proper lock screen clock ui so if you move on here and uh, let me show you if i choose this wallpaper and style and change the default wallpaper from lock screen also it uh, brings you a lot of wallpapers pre-installed so for example just for exam example i am choosing some nothing os wallpapers which are already included if i choose home screen and lock screen then let's move on to the settings once again custom clock style i'll choose ios one we have some lock screen widgets available device info widgets open lock screen as you can see so if you're looking forward to one of the best lock screen in an android then check out this custom room that's just one of the main reasons or primary reasons because i used a lot of custom rooms so far but rising OS brings you one of the best lock screens ever in android you also have these lock screen widgets and that is one of the main highlights a lot of custom rooms have the ios lock screen right now available with these widgets too but with these big widgets mini widgets which means nothing OS inspired ui with ios style ui ios style clock and that's a great combination that is just so amazing also with these new update things we have some extra wallpapers available too the wallpapers from pixel 8a pixel 9 series pixel super fans rising 2.0 Yes, you don't need any third party app to apply some of these wallpapers. A lot of wallpapers are pre-included, so that's quite impressive. Right now, Rising OS is becoming just one of the best custom rooms. And in case you don't know, if you are one of the users who was using Project Elixir, that's just gone. It's no more alive. So there's no competition between one of the best looking custom rooms. I remember when I made a comparison video in the UI, but because Project Elixir is not going to update as far as I know from right now, but I am able to notice, I'm able to see I don't think so project elixir is going to update so rising os by any chance if it is available for your device because right now it's open source and it's also available as an unofficial version so don't miss it out make sure to check it out let's move on to some other options although uh, we have a lot of things available if you take a look at the customizations as expectedly the custom room brings you a lot of customizations we have some options status bar quick settings panel etc so ui customizations almost everything what you need in a custom room is present here and as i just mentioned at the starting of the video things are changed in the terms of bugs lot of things are changed here the room is quite stable for now still you might get some bugs but most of things are same 
Also, the quick switch is back. So now you can switch between Pixel Launcher and the Quick Step Launcher. But I will not, uh, I will not try this because it will simply restart my device once. But you can choose between Pixel Launcher or Quick Step Launcher. And maybe with the upcoming updates, you will see the Nothing Launcher too. For now, it's not there, but it will be included as far as I know. So yes, this is it. These were things I just wanted to let you know if it is available unofficially or officially. Check out link is already available in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.